And welcome everyone. We have a slight risk of severe storms we're talking as we head on through our Thursday afternoon. Now, straight line wind is going to be the primary threat. And to protect yourself against any straight line winds, uh, just have a roof over your head. It's always uh, some type of falling branch or tree or something that can hurt you. Showers into the day Friday, and then we're going to be warming up next week with high humidity levels moving in. Talking highs uh, likely in the 80s at some point next week. Looking at that slight risk of severe weather for us, an enhanced risk up to the northeast. So again, we're embedded under that slight risk. That's a level two out of five. And the primary threat here is wind. And so there's about a 15% chance of damaging straight line wind. Other threats are extremely low. Tornado, only a 2% chance. Higher chance up there to the northeast where they have, they have that enhanced risk. Hail yeah, a slight chance of that as well. Very low end chance. Maybe some pea size hail in the midst. Uh, otherwise, we'll have some heavy downpours at times. These are all coming through starting in the morning hours, even through the overnight into the morning and into the afternoon. That's where we'll have the highest severe threat. And then the cold front moves on by a lingering shower into the day Friday and the winds picking up just for the day Friday. So looking at precipitation around three quarters to maybe up to an inch of rain out the door will be in the low 60s for morning lows. Daytime highs here Thursday up to around 70 degrees. Again, the winds breezy out of the south and then out of the west um, for Friday, then diminishing Saturday as uh, we have a beautiful weekend shaping up. So once these showers move on by a lingering storm possible into the day Friday, Clears on out just in time for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, marvelous. Warming up, turning humid, and with that, will we get summertime kind of storms next week?